November 13th, our Father among the Saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople. This greatest and most beloved of all Christian orators was born in Antioch in the year 344 or 347. His pious parents were called Secundus and Anthusa. After his mother was widowed at the age of 20, she devoted herself to bringing up John and his elder sister in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. St. John received his literary training under Anthrogathius, the philosopher, and Libanius, the sophist, who was the greatest Greek scholar and rhetorician of his day. Libanius was a pagan, and when asked before his death whom he wished to have for his successor, he said, John, had it not the Christians stolen him from us? With such a training and with such gifts as he had by nature, John had before him a brilliant career as a rhetorician. But through the good example of his godly mother, Anthusa, and of the holy bishop, Miletius of Antioch, by whom he was ordained reader about the year 370, he chose instead to dedicate himself to God. From the years 374 to 381, he lived the monastic life in the hermitages that were near Antioch. His extreme asceticism undermined his health, compelling him to return to Antioch, where St. Miletius ordained him deacon about the year 381. St. Miletius was called to Constantinople later that year to preside over the Second Ecumenical Council, during which he fell asleep in the Lord. In 386, Bishop Flavian ordained John Presbyter of the Church of Antioch. Upon his elevation to the priesthood, his career as a public preacher began, and his exceptional oratorical gifts were made manifest through his many sermons and commentaries. They are distinguished by their eloquence and the remarkable ease with which rich imagery and scriptural allusions are multiplied. By their depth of insight into the meaning of scripture and the workings of God's providence, and not least of all by their earnestness and moral force, which issue from the heart of a blameless and guileless man who lived first what he preached to others. Because of his fame, he was chosen to succeed St. Nectarius as Patriarch of Constantinople. He was taken away by stealth to avoid the opposition of the people and consecrated Patriarch of Constantinople on February 28, 398 by Theophilus, Patriarch of Alexandria, who was to prove his mortal enemy. At that time, the Emperor of the East was Arcadius, who had had St. Arsenius the Great as his tutor. Arcadius was a man of weak character and much under the influence of his wife, Eudoxia. The zealous and upright Chrysostom's unsparing censures of the lax morals in the imperial city stung the vain Eudoxia. Through Theophilus's plottings and her collaboration, St. John was banished to Pontus in 403. The people were in an uproar, and the following night an earthquake shook the city. This frightened the Empress Eudoxia so much that she begged Arcadius to call Chrysostom back. While his return was triumphant, his reconciliation with the Empress did not last long. When she had a silver statue of herself erected in the forum before the Church of the Holy Wisdom in September of 403, and had it dedicated with much unseemly revelry, St. John thundered against her, and she could not forgive him. In June of 404, he was exiled to Caucasus, on the borders of Cilicia and Armenia. From here, he exchanged letters with Pope Innocent of Rome, who sent bishops and priests to Constantinople, requesting that a council be held. St. John's enemies, dreading his return, prevailed upon the emperor to see an insult in this and had John taken to a more remote place of banishment called Pityus near the Caucasus. The journey was filled with bitter sufferings for the aged bishop, both because of the harshness of the elements and the cruelty of one of his guards. He did not reach Pityus, but gave up his soul to the Lord near Comana and Pontus at the chapel of the martyr Basilicus, who had appeared to him shortly before foretelling the day of his death, which came to pass on September 14, 407. His last words were, Glory be to God for all things. 
His holy relics were brought from Comana to Constantinople 31 years later by the Emperor Theodosius the Younger and Saint Pulcheria his sister, the children of Arcadius and Eudoxia, with fervent supplications that the sin of their parents against him be forgiven. This return of his holy relics is celebrated on January 27th. Saint John was surnamed Chrysostom, that is, Golden Mouth, because of his eloquence. He made exhaustive commentaries on the divine scriptures and was the author of more works than any other church father, leaving us complete commentaries on the book of Genesis, the Gospels of St. Matthew and John, the Acts and all the epistles of St. Paul. His extant works are 1,447 sermons and 240 epistles. Twenty-two teachers of the church have written homilies of praise in his honor. Besides his feasts today and on January 27th, he is celebrated as one of the great three hierarchs on January 30th, together with St. Basil the Great and St. Gregory the Theologian. God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, O comforter, the spirit of truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Glory is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for forth from my mouth like a beacon has illumined the universe and disclosed to the world treasures of uncovetousness and shown us the heights of humility. But whilst instructing us by thy words, O Father John Chrysostom, intercede with the word Christ our God, to save our souls. Traversing the water as on dry land, and thereby escaping from the toils of Egypt's land, the Israelites cried aloud, proclaiming unto our God and Redeemer, let us now sing. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Since thou art an exceedingly fervent preacher of repentance, O Father Chrysostom, intercede with God that I might repent with all my heart, and beseech him in thy compassion that I be healed of the wounds of mine old failings. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. When thou hadst received the entirety of the splendor of the Holy Spirit, O righteous and all-blessed Father, thou didst appear as a pillar entirely of light going before the church, and as a bright cloud overshadowing the companies of the Orthodox. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Appointed by Christ as a teacher, O Chrysostom, revealer of divine mysteries, with golden tongue and godly mind, that is to abundantly pour forth divine doctrines like a fountain, 
being a river full of the waters of the Spirit, both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Adorned in varied colors with the diversity of grace, O grace of God, O blessed Lady, while remaining an undefiled virgin, thou gavest birth to the Father's word, who in his inexpressible compassion became flesh beyond mind and word. Of the vault of the heavens art thou, Lord Fashioner, so too of the church art thou founder, do thou establish me in unfeigned love for thee, who art the height of things sought for, and staff of the faithful, O thou only friend of man. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Abounding in the mind of Christ through thy pure way of life, O God inspired his system. Thou becamest the fellow worker, expounder, and craftsman of man's salvation, overflowing with saving teachings. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Made rich from the inviolable treasuries of the Spirit, O righteous Father, Thou drewest the ever-flowing fountain of Thy doctrines from the wellsprings of salvation, and didst word the face of the whole church. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst truly clear the rankly overgrown fields of man's souls with the all-wise tillage of thy words, O God-inspired resourcedom, making them fruitful by watering them with heavenly showers. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In thee there is no sport or defilement at all, O all-blameless Virgin. Rather thou hast appeared as the habitation of heavenly virtues, for in thee all the holiness of the virtues made its dwelling. As a god seer thou drawest up mystic wealth from ineffable wisdom of Chrysostom, will treasuring up for all floods of orthodox piety, which have gladdened the hearts of the faithful with godly joy, but which drown the false doctrines of infidels as is right. Hence by both, O John, through all the sweat of thy labors, in struggles for piety, thou hast proved an invincible champion of the Trinity. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Groan and quake, O my soul, as thou takest thought of the flame of Gehenna, the burning fire, the weeping and mourning there, the most woeful and bitterest separation eternal from all of the company, and the portion and lot of the saints in the age to come. Strive, O soul, to blot out with thy tears of compunction the writ of thine endless debts, for thou hast as thy help a strong fellow worker that cannot fail, the virgin who alone is pure, through whom pardon of their sins is granted them that glorify her with right faith, as the mother of our God. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Christ, who in his providence cares for all since he is good, gave thee to us as another of like ways with the apostles, as a herald of the celestial revelation, and as a divine expounder of the mysteries on high, O all-blessed John Chrysostom. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Let us honor John of golden brightness and 
golden speech, who has made all men golden with the golden rays of his teaching, and made the world resplendent with his tongue, which being brighter than gold and full of light, gushes forth God-given grace. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Thou holy became God's dwelling, Thou didst prove to be holy an instrument of the Spirit, sounding the God-inspired melody of every virtue and the theme of salvation, and giving a glimpse of the beauty of the kingdom of heavens, O all-blessed John Chrysostom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast proclaimed God's compassion, and hast expounded the ways of repentance, peerlessly and perfectly teaching us to flee from evil deeds, and weaving exhortations to works of excellence, O all-blessed and most venerable Father Chrysostom. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We possess thee after God as our protection, O all-blameless Virgin, for thou becamest the mother of God, the maker and artificer, who took on our form and has saved it from corruption and death, glorifying it with divine glory. Lord, enlighten us by thy precepts and by thy commands and by the power of thy lofty arm. Bestow thy peace upon us all, since thou art friend of man. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. We all know thee to be an exceedingly bright luminary of the church, O celebrated Father, and a saviour of souls that plucks them out of the murderous gullet and guides them unto life everlasting. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Hedged round about with the weapons of true religion and with valour of soul, O most sacred Father John, thou breakest up the troops of heretics, but with joy thou dost gloriously join together the choirs of the Orthodox and the bond of the Spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Thy cheeks are as bowls full of God-given spices, O all-wise Chrysostom, and they gladden the whole world with noetic fragrances, with thy sweet-scented mystical instruction and the beauty of thy words. Both now and forever to the ages of ages, Amen. Since thou hast conceived God the Artificer, Creator and Lord, all the generations of mankind call thee blessed, O pure one, and the noetic orders of the incorporeal host glorify thee as the mother of God. Entreaty do I pour forth unto the Lord, and to him do I proclaim all my sorrows, for many woes fill my heart with replenishing. And lo, my life unto Hades has now drawn nigh. Like Jonas do I pray to thee, Raise me up from corruption, O Lord my God. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. As a rich dispenser of the word, thou madest the whole world rich with spiritual wisdom, O hierarch, for each grace from above was put forth on thy lips. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Thy sound has gone forth like lightning into all the earth, O Chrysostom, and the power of thy words, like a most clear and auspicious clarion, has resounded to all the ends of the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Mantled in a robe woven from above, and acquiring the splendor of virtue and discourse, O all-blessed Father, thou hast revealed to be a greatly experienced groundwork of truth. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. For the benefit of mankind, a friend of man who bears the universe with almighty power, is now wrapped about with the infirmity of the flesh from thee, O all-blameless Virgin. From the heavens hast thou received divine grace, and by thy lips thou dost teach all to worship the one God in Trinity. O John Chrysostom, O blessed righteous one, rightly do we acclaim thee, for thou art a teacher revealing things 
divine. To the maker of all I bow my knee, to the word that was before the ages I stretch out my hands, asking for the gift of a word, that I may hymn the saint whom he has magnified. For he who lives unto the ages has said unto the prophet, I glorify them that in faith glorify me. Therefore he that exalted Samuel among men of olden times has now glorified the high rock, for he traded well with the talent entrusted to him and has brought it unto the king. Wherefore the transcendent in essence has transcendently exalted him, and I, unworthy as I am, ask for his grace that a word be given to me to be able to sing his praises with reverence. For he is the teacher of the ends of the, of the earth, revealing things divine. For he is the teacher of the ends of the earth, revealing things divine. Once from out of Judea did the children go down to the land of Babylon. The fire of the furnace they trampled down while chanting by their faith in the Trinity. O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Initiated into the abyss of God's kindness and compassion, thou hast given a pledge of salvation to them that repent with fervor and cry to the Lord of their whole soul. Blessed is the God of our fathers. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. By thy teachings, O Chrysostom, thou dost set every mind in good order. Being great in sympathy, thou healest the infirmities of souls, and with them that are around the course aright, thou dost joyously chant, Blessed is the God of our fathers. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou wast joyfully exalted as the elect, holy, and guileless priest of the Most High, O all-blessed Father, splendidly apparelled with righteousness and crying out in gladness, Blessed is the God of our fathers, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou, O Immaculate Lady, hast conceived the Lord and God over all, who was well pleased to save the race of men from the ruin of death, Praising him as is meet, we cry, Blessed is the God of our fathers. The King of heaven, whom all the hosts of angels him with their chants and praises of glory, praise ye and exalt him to the ages forever. Holy Father John, we pray to God for us. We who attend to thy words with discretion are initiated into the holiness of theology, O Chrysostom. Thus we enjoy all the benefit of good things, and we escape the harm of evil. For thou becamest the common treasury of salvation, crying, Supremely exalt Christ unto the ages. Holy Father John, I pray to God for us. Employing thy compassionate boldness and thy merciful and man-befriending affection, O Father Chrysostom, beseech the Master in our behalf. For we bring thee to the Saviour in faith as our mediator, advocate, and most ardent intercessor, O godly-minded hierarch, O blessed John. We bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. To unjust sovereigns thou didst display a young man's vigorous opposition and a spirit they could not bring low, o righteous Chrysostom, when thou fervently stoodest in defence of the wronged, in thy loving disposition, becoming the father of the poor and widows and orphans, and crying out, Supremely exalt Christ unto the ages. Both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. In images of bodily forms, manifold dark sayings, symbolic types, and figurative expressions, the God-proclaimers prophesied of thy wondrous giving of birth past nature, O Virgin. Wherefore, with joy, we piously sing thy praises, supremely exalting Christ unto all the ages. Most rightly we confess thee as our God's birth-giver. 
We who through thee have been saved, O thou Virgin most pure, with choirs of bodiless angels, thee do we magnify. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. As thou enjoys that true life for which thou didst contend on earth with all thy strength, eminent with an angelic way of life and endowed with the serene mouth and tongue of Christ, Beseech him, O God, proclaiming Father, that those who with faith especially call thee, blessed may be saved. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Thy words, O thrice blessed Chrysostom, are words of life procuring the life that has no end. For Christ revealed thee as a brimming fountain and a rushing river pouring out floods of divine doctrines, a very torrent of delight, a stream of forgiveness, and a brilliant preacher of repentance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast been revealed as an exceedingly bright mediator between God and man, O High Priest, for thou wast seen to be a luminary shining with the divine light of piety, and thou ledst all to the almsgiving inspired by God. Wherefore, with our whole heart, we now rightly magnify thee, O John of Golden Speech. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O pure and glorious Mother of God, save them that sing thy praises with longing, and in thy compassion bring to note a throng of all temptations. For since thou gavest birth to God, O Virgin, thou canst accomplish without hindrance all that thou dost will. Wherefore we all magnify thee. The Church of Christ, O Christostom, is made joyous and shineth with thy bright words of golden light, and the souls of the faithful are filled with joy in honoring thine all-holy memory. For thou, O Father, hast shone forth manifestly to all men as the guide to salvation. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, with the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross of the Lord and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, at the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Cicerus, the great Brandon, the navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. At the prayers of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, with the prayers of St. Bryce of Tours, St. Caelan of Fern, St. Columba of Cornwall, St. Danik, St. Gradifal of Wales, and St. Killian, and all of those with them, whose memory we keep this day. And the prayers of our holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. 
For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. Heard the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.